So it's almost done drying now. I've got two others made. That's what they're going to end up looking like when I'm finished. So you can kind of see the difference that I do a lot more cleanup in this stage. Um, so at the side view, let's see if I can do this. What I'm trying to do is just really like squeeze those two points down like that to create that diamond shape even more and to elongate it a little bit more. Sometimes there'll be a weird chunk down there at the bottom like like a step or something that's not even with the rest of the body of the clay. So I just really want to get everything in a fluid motion, make it all even like that. Let's wiggle that up. I'm going to put my water bottle here. I'm going to place this on my water bottle. And this is taking place of my, of my mug. But I would be marring up that surface of my mug and it's got all that nice blue on it. So I don't want to get any of this crap on there of the slip. Extra slip that I don't need on there. So I am going to press it to the water bottle. And I'm really going to focus on these edges. Is that's why I'm putting it on something round instead of a flat surface to finish um, because I want these to be flush with a rounded surface. So it's getting there. Push up here. I can press up on that and it makes it go a little bit higher up top there, which is what I like. You, I always want my handles to be a little bit. Um, a little bit more on the wet side and my cup to be a little bit more on the dry side um, and that way whenever and I'm not too dry not too wet for either one of them but um, I can probably attach one of these other ones actually let's do that okay so they've dried a little bit more this one's stiffer um, I went ahead and glue or painted another one because I'm being productive um, so this handle, you can still see it's moving, like it's still malleable, um, but it's at the point where I can raise it and move it and it's not, I'm not messing it up at all. Um, so that's where we want it to be at. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, I have some foam here so I can easily like put it on its side so it doesn't get uh, well, it's banged up from the flatter surfaces over here. So what I'm going to do is line this up to the top and the bottom. Just trace the shape of, um, of your handle. Perfect. You can let it dry even more than this. This is on the wetter side. So whenever you're you're feeling your cups to see if they're ready to, for the handle to be attached. You don't want them bone dry, which means this, like it's, it's really, really dry. You can't rehydrate that. That's going to break if I try and put anything on it. Um, so you want these two clays to be squished together like Velcro and you don't want them to come apart. Um, and to do that, you need to have them at the right consistencies. So you want this to be leather hard. Um, I think of it at like a Hershey bar, candy bar state, um, and then this is going to be a little bit more on the wet side, so like a little bit melted chocolate. So candy bar, melted chocolate, stick those together, wrap them up overnight with some plastic like this, um, and let those two weld together over overnight for at least... 24 hours. Um, so now I have my, I don't know if you can see the, there's shapes right there, those diamond shapes that I traced. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape off the underglaze for the most part. Um, and that's because if I leave it on there, it's going to cause some breaking because I want clay to clay contact. I don't want clay to glaze contact. So I've got two spots nicely cleared up. Um, so now what I'm going to do is my scoring. I'm just going to go, and I'm just pretty much, I'm creating that Velcro. Like I'm really just trying to get the burrs of the clay to stick up. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the handle. Okay. So now I've got both of those slit or scored. 
nuts left. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna steal a little water out of this jar. I'm gonna use my paintbrush here and I'm gonna add water to the dry side of my cup. My cup's gonna get some water. And then I wanna wait till it gets a little tacky before I combine the two surfaces. this back down and I can re reshape this the way I want it to be I like how big and clunky that is it feels like it's a solid handle I'm gonna keep pushing this on making sure everything's really stuck he's pretty bad you gotta look at it this way too. <laughs> oh, little crooked. Now that I'm looking at it from this direction, you can kind of tell. Look at him, he's, he's a little bit like that. Cool, cool. I'm still squeezing down everything, making sure it's all flush to the cup. I'm gonna go back and adjust my shape a little. I really like when it's like lifted up a little bit, gives it a little bit of a shoulder on the cup. You know, you can take your paintbrush, kind of go back around the edges, and just clean up those edges. I want it to be more dry than anything because if it's wet, it's going to start smearing your underglaze. So just try and avoid that. And voila! There's a cup!